Yep. Mm -hmm. You know, when I got that look, I got something good to share. Yep. This is for the nursing student. I promised you a video just for you. This video is just for you. So if you start at nursing school, you're in your last semester of nursing school, you're in the middle of nursing school, I think that this will help you. If you are a mom or dad of a nursing student, if you are a husband or wife of a nursing student, then this video will help you. Here's the deal, you guys. Everything I'm about to tell you is basically for free or for almost nothing. So the free part is that every single subject you could ever have a test in in nursing school is pretty much on my YouTube channel. Now, I'm not talking prerequisites. I'm not talking fundamentals. I'm talking about the body systems. So let's explore what I have to offer for free and like no money needed, okay? Here we go. Let's say that you are enrolling in school, you're past your fundamentals, you're done with your Potter and Perry book or whatever it is people use nowadays, and you are now either in med surge or maybe you're in your next semester and you're in your specialties like maternity, peds, psych, or even more exciting, you've started your critical care leadership where you're into the cardio respiratory and you're looking at GI and endocrine and you're exploring hematology and cancer, all those subjects. It doesn't matter what like mix of subjects you have, we have everything you need. The way you maximize your, your tutoring that I used to do in person with you, many of you know that, I used to literally bring you in the office, sit you down, tutor you one-on-one, -on -one, but it has come to my, my attention that students all over this world, not even country, but students all over this world are struggling in school. And there's a lot of reasons for that. The main reason that people really, really started failing and having horrible and horrifying stories to tell me is COVID just totally fucked up the game. But another reason is you guys aren't doing your homework. You're not looking at what school you decide to enroll in. And some of you have chosen to go to a school that's a piece of shit. And I don't know how to otherwise explain it. It's just, it's a piece of crap. Like it's the worst school. And I even say to you when you, you know, you call me for that $25 consultation, I say to you, is that a good school? And while I'm asking you that, I'm looking up the school only to find out they're on probation or they lost their accreditation or they're about to close. Or since you graduated from them in the case of someone who graduates and is calling me for a consult for NCLEX, um, since you passed, since you graduated from this horrible school, it's already closed. It's not even open anymore. So I'm like, tired. I'm just, I'm sick and tired. I'm trying to help you guys stop this madness because we put more research in what pair of boots to buy for, you know, your date on Friday than you did on your education. And actually education is the best investment in the world. So let me help you. Let me help you because we already know what the typical nursing school does. They make you teach yourself, which is again, wrong. I didn't teach myself anything. How the hell was I going to teach myself? I didn't know shit. So when I went to school, which was Ursuline and then Case, when I went to nursing school, I was taught, I paid you to teach me. What the hell is this? But everyone I know says that their school makes them teach themselves, okay? So since that's out there and they're taking your 40, 50, 200,000, if you're an LPN or an RN, this should help you navigate through nursing school. First resource that I have to offer you, free, no money needed, but you got to know how to work it, is the HETV YouTube channel. When you go to my HETV YouTube channel, you just need to remember that you are going to the playlist. So I'm going to try to see if I can help you with that. 
So if you have an iPhone, of course, and I'm a little biased because I have three iPhones. So if you have an iPhone, I'm just gonna kind of show you how to navigate it as if you were just starting to search, okay? So you put the YouTube app on your phone. That's number one. If you don't have the YouTube app on your phone, this might be a little weird. Okay, so let me show you again that YouTube app, okay? So I'm gonna hit it and it shows whatever I've been listening to. Well, and so YouTube I'm gonna shut him up and anything. get you guys where you need to go. So let's say that you opened your YouTube channel and if you look down here, and I know it's hard to see, you might actually be able to see something that says subscriptions. You hit that. Your subscriptions will come to the top. And when you see the subscription HETV, and hopefully you subscribed, if you didn't, it's okay. Go ahead and subscribe. So you hit the HETV, and then you might even see something that says view channel. This is how you know you're in the right place because there are two HETV channels. But if your screen looks like this on your phone or your laptop, something like this, you're good. Okay, so you're hitting the subscribe button here and then you're going all the way over here to playlist. Okay, when you go to playlist, you're going to see self-study tips and a bunch of other type of um, subjects. At the end of the third subject, you're gonna see a tiny arrow. That's critical to press that. When you press that, then you've entered into every playlist I have, including, and I'm just gonna call some off, okay? Including GI, pharmacology, the NGN, which you have nothing to do with because that's, net, that's um, NCLEX reproductive health, perioperative, integumentary, acid base and electrolytes, um, orthopedics, procedures, some critical care, hematology, infectious diseases. You have your med surge, you have your respiratory, you have your diabetes, you have cancer, growth and development, peds, maternity, acute respiratory, neuro, endocrine, um, EKGs, cardio, you have so many subjects so that if you are going into your last semester, maybe, especially at a school like Tri-C, there's lots of topics for you to notice in that playlist. Now, if you're preparing for your test, how would you prepare? Obviously, you need that study guide that some teachers are graceful enough to give you and the notes that some teachers give you. You need that. You need the objectives or whatever the hell they call it that tells you what's going to be on your test. And then you take that subject, and it's usually a body system, right? Neuro, cardio, GI, whatever. And you take that subject and you go to the playlist and try to find that subject. And then what you want to do if you needed the handouts, which you probably don't, but if you did, if you just needed them because you're thinking, I'm never going to remember this just taking freestyle notes on notebook paper because that does not do a lot of good. Um, I tell students try to stay away from taking notes on notebook paper um, in my class because we give these out with the course itself. So, <coughs> and no, I don't have COVID. That was just a cough, so stop. So if you look at the handouts, you can purchase these handouts for, I think, 10 bucks, maybe 15 max. And I'll show you. They even come as bundles, which is really a smart move. So I'm going to show you all the handouts available for the type of test that you might have. You have cardio. We have respiratory. We have your GI. We have cancer. We have your neuro. We have your hematology. We have endocrine. And if those aren't what you're doing this semester, then you might need these handouts. 
This one is your acid base imbalance, but it has all the electrolytes, your potassium, your calcium, your sodium, your magnesium, all of that is in here as well with the acidosis, alkalosis stuff, that's what's in here. Then you have your ortho, right? That's your musculoskeletal, same thing, different day. You have your diabetes, that's huge, you know that. And then of course you have your renal or your kidney. If you're not in the med surge topics or critical care topics, then perhaps you are in that semester where you have your pediatrics, maternity, growth and development, oops, sorry, or psych. And a lot of these subjects are really, really, really difficult because they give you a very short clinical time frame in there. So if you took psych, you would not have the same amount of clinical time in psych that you would some of the med surge um, clinicals. And so those are really, really hard for students because they have nothing to go on except maybe some YouTube video or whatever. Well, if you were to go to psych in my playlist on HETV through YouTube, you would literally see nine videos. So I would get you through it. I literally have a comprehensive final exam, subject by subject um, course for maternity. And so you got video by video by video by video. I have the same thing for pediatrics and your growth and development. And so I just want you to know that all of my YouTube channels, over 350 channels, is absolutely free. If you need to get the packets, the link that you need is right in the YouTube channel. It's called um, uh, Shelly's and Clex Prep. So when you go on to the unit, the um, HETV YouTube channel, if you just tap it, even on just on your phone, if you were to just tap it, boom, you'd be there in the actual link for the handouts themselves. And I'm going to be honest with you, if I'm preparing for a cardio exam, acute and chronic cardio, um, yeah, I'm going to get the handout, I'm going to get the whatever bundle has everything in it. And then um, I will go ahead and look at the videos that kind of correlate with that bundle. So I really hope this helps you. Um, I don't know about you, but being in nursing school was a tearjerker many, many times. Uh, I wasn't the typical student. I worked full time, two jobs, had a kid, dropped out of high school, had no support at all. Couldn't even call my dad for bus fare. My mom was non-existent in my life. So I just want to help you help yourself. And that's why I'm doing this video. And I hope that, you know, you can kind of feel encouraged and know that you're going to make it, but you need the tools to help you. Now, if you're just entering nursing school um, and maybe your prerequisitions are out of the way, I mean, your prerequisites are out of the way and you've gotten through fundamentals and the, the easy, not easy, God, it's not easy, but the uh, preliminary nursing courses and you're really into the meats and potatoes, what I would say the summer before you start that um, med surge or that critical care or that leadership or whatever it is, before you get in those subjects that I just listed, I would say do yourself a favor, buy UWorld software. Even if you don't quite understand the RN because you just started fundamentals, if you're just starting out in fundamentals, then get the UWorld LPN. If you are an RN going to school and you are an LPN, about to finish school, then you need the U World RN. Yes, I did say that. Even if you're an LPN about to graduate and trying to figure out how to study for your NCLEX, you actually need U, you need U World RN. I know it doesn't make sense, but it really does because you're preparing for the massive test. As an RN entering nursing school, you would do well if you're starting nursing school to do UWorld LPN software. You can Google that, find it, buy it. If you're finishing up and getting into some of those classes that I said, like neuro and diabetes and reno and cancer and endocrine, then you just, you just need to buckle down and get the UWorld RN. Feel free if you're having trouble in nursing school and you just want a quick consultation with me to call you and talk to you about 
what to do because maybe you're failing and you don't know where to go, how to reach out, what to do, what to do next. You don't know and there's no tutoring and the tutor that you went to is some bullshit. Um, just holler back at your girl, 216-410-0936. And I would be more than happy to help you out. So it's right here too. It's 216-410-0936. And you can call me and I would be more than happy to help you navigate what was probably one of the hardest things I ever did, which is graduate from nursing school. God bless you. Hope you do it.